Hello everyone, my name is Stealth Jacob, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. In the last episode, we uh, battled against Cassiopeia from Team Star, who is apparently Penny. We defeated her in battle, um, there's a lot of exposition after that, kind of talking about that they want to keep the bases for like some sort of school program thing. So yeah, a bunch of cool stuff happened. Today what I kind of want to do is I want to work on completing some of the classes again. Um, it's been a while since we did it, but I kind of want to just sort of complete them, you know? Uh, we're not going to be able to do all of them in a day, I don't think. We might have to do this in multiple episodes. But I'm just going to like pick a class one at a time and just kind of go through it until we do the final, and then complete the final, you know? I kind of want to start with art. I think art was one of the easier ones. So we'll just continue from there. Uh, but yeah. That's kind of what I want to do. I want to work on completing the classes, and then we'll work on defeating the Elite Four and stuff soon. We'll need to do some training for that. Hello, Hassle. I'm pleased to say that everyone did well in the midterm. We got a special guest. Brassy, please come in. Oh, cool. That's cool. I am Brassius. I'm an artist and I focus exclusively on grass type Pokemon for my work. He creates three dimensional pieces, such as statues and the like. One of his major works is the installation titled Sur Surrendering Sun Flora in Artisan. Many of you challenged the Artisan Gym are no doubt familiar with these sculptures. I do recognize some faces among the students. Hope you all understand how fortunate you are to be attending Haas's classes. Old Haas is the man who saved me when I was lost, all hope and give it up on myself. But he never gave up on me. I did not exaggerate when I said he is the mentor in life. Uh, it is precisely thanks to Haas that I was able to establish my current art style. Dear Brassy, I have nothing against reminiscing about old times, but today I hope you will guide this class in a way only you can. Of course. Uh, why don't we discuss what the sunder the surrendering some flora? Uh, tell your mood. It's surrendering. Ugh. Was he happy? Happy to make it? I don't know. <laughs> no. Dang. Completely wrong. I had surrendered all hope. I was prepared to give up on everything. So sad? Hence the name. Yeah. Exactly. When I started out as an artist, I experienced many hardships. I even became deadly ill and fell into a slump that drove me into desperation. I began worrying about only what would sell. I was only concerned with fame and fortune. Uh, but all my pieces do during this time had no depth. They were all shallow trash. That's why I met Hass. He helped me realize how petty I was being. I'll spare you the details, but in the end I was able to leave that all behind. And that's also when I crafted the Sun Flora. I mean, I didn't know this whole story till now. This kind of thing is hard to tell someone, especially when they are so close to you. Now, I doubt that you adolescents will often find your heads crowded with worries. Uh, be honest with yourself and do whatever your heart desires. As long as you don't cause trouble, that is. That's all. I bid you farewell. Farewell to your pupils as well. Okay, so he was sad? Never really answered. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why is she so sad? <laughs> That's cool. I like it when they have the different characters interact. That's fun. Alright. Hello. Why is Gengar back? <laughs> art for five. Let's just complete art as soon as we can. 
I just want to get some of the classes done, you know? Hopefully we can do it. Hey, Arvin's here. <laughs> Die hassle again. Let me apologize for use losing my composure last class. I was so touched by Brassius' story, I couldn't contain my emotions. I'm sorry for making a scene. We got very stern talking from this time after class, yes. Let's shift gears and dive into the material for today. The Ten Sites of Paldea. I have. There are ten sites in Paldea that are considered particularly beautiful. I would say the Grand Olive Orchard is likely the most accessible. You can see a field after field of olive trees from the hills on the way to Cortona. Two waterfalls are also counted among these ten sites, Fury Falls and Casaroya Falls. Then there's the peak of uh, Glaciado Mountain, known as Baldea's highest peak. There's another cliff that's named after its unique shape. Let me ask, what is the name of the three pond cliff in the mountain? Hmm. I want to say the grasp? <clears throat> exactly, it looks like a hand taking hold of something, doesn't it? Glaciato's grasp. Though its shape is far too stubby to be that of a human hand, I imagine someone thought it looked like a Pokemon hand grabbing something. There's also mountains in Area 3 of East Providence where you can get a good look at La Vincia. It's a gorgeous at night. Um, so bright it's known as the Million Volt Skyline. I heard it's quite a hot spot for dates and deservingly so for having such a romantic view. Uh, I imagine it's, what do the kids say, a uh, fleek selfie spot? Ugh, I don't know about that. Of course, you may not feel that all, um, all ten sites look to their names. How often do we visit some tourist spots only to be disappointed? Not to say you shouldn't visit them, only that you shouldn't keep your hopes in check. The important thing is to go see for yourself. And sometimes the disappointment disappointing experience could be a worthwhile in its own way. Take a chance. That's it for today. Oh boy, was I supposed to memorize all those? Because I did not. <laughs> Alright, art for six. I feel like this final is going to be hard. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> we can retake it until we get it right. <laughs> I hope. <clears throat> hey class, it's I, Hassel, yet again. How time flies. Indeed, our class has certainly flown by. It's hard to believe this is our last class. Oh boy. Topic is somewhat unrelated to art. There's uh, no definition of what art is. Alright, what are we talking about? Two things I wish to focus ribbons and marks. Okay. Both ribbons and marks are special honors that capture a Pokemon's quality. There will be times when your Pokemon gives maximum effort or has a noteworthy experience. Um, in, accomplish in recognition, it gets a ribbon. To give an example, if you come to care close to a Pokemon, be, be granted the best friend ribbon. Um, there's a person in Karskarpa who can give your Pokemon a best friend ribbon. Marks are found on wild Pokemon who meet them for the first time. They can symbolize the character of a Pokemon, such as the Rowdy Mark or the Vigor Mark. It's completely up to luck whether you run into a Pokemon with these marks. So if you're able to catch a Pokemon with a mark, rejoice at your outstanding fortune. Anyone know what special things you can do with a Pokemon that has them? Uh, can't you, like, change their title or something? Okay. Yeah, they can be given titles. And then when you send them in the battle, it says that, yeah, right? Um, you can send Gibble with a... Go Gibble the friend. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Marks are pretty rare, though. We haven't seen... I don't think we've seen any yet. The Gorman mark, the item finder mark, the partner mark, and so on. Perhaps it might be fun to try to work out what, how to get each mark by using its name. Well, next is the final. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do well. I'll do my best, but we might fail. Art final. Let's get it over with. Let's complete a class. Alright. Uh, please do well, please do well. <laughs> Final exams. And begin. Oh boy. Uh, what is the name of the restaurant where you can change a Pokemon's Terra type? Ooh. The treasure trove. Surrendering Sunflora. Two. Lavincia. The marks can be. The marks on a Pokemon are presented when you are present when you first meet them. In. Yeah, that's true. I think we did good on that one. I think we did good. The time we shared is left a mark that I will treasure, I promise. And since it's my sincere wish that all of you go even greater, more prosperous futures. You can receive your results at the front desk. I think we did good. I'm pretty sure I got them either like four of them right or five, I think. There's two waterfalls. You must get three questions correct and four right to pass the final. Uh, we failed? What? What did I get wrong? Well, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> what did I get wrong? Does he have new dialogue that we failed? <laughs> I'm curious. What did I get wrong? Okay, good. He doesn't. <laughs> I probably got this wrong. I'm gonna say the treasury. What is the name of the statue? It's the Surrendering Zumplora. I think there's, I thought he said there was only two, right? How many waterfalls are counted among the 10 sites? I thought there was only two, right? I'm a, I still want to say two. Where can you find it? That's Slavincia. That's what he said. The marks on Pokemon are present when you... That's true, though. You can't add a mark later. Marks are the... Marks... The ribbons you can add, but marks you cannot, so... Okay, we only made one change, so we might get four right this time. Okay, hopefully we figured it out. It must be, it has to be the, it's got to be the food one, the first one, and the one with the waterfalls. So those must be the two I got wrong. Uh, dang it! Um, do I need to retake class? Why am I having our d difficulty? What are we trying to fit? The 10 sites, okay. Okay, I need to look at the waterfall thing. Lows, I have, okay. So yeah, this is all the same. Okay, this is, I can't believe I'm doing this badly though. This is weird. Looking for waterfall stuff. 
Yeah, there's two waterfalls. Okay, that's right. So yeah, there's two waterfalls, so I was right on that. Now I gotta get through this class. Oh, he said Lavincia there, right? I think he did. So yeah, Lavincia, and that's right. Am I somehow getting the mark question wrong? No, because Brassius's thing has to be right. Wow, I didn't think this would be this bad. <laughs> um. Where is it gonna tell me the food? Eh, we could just... The good thing is we could just try this as many times as we want, which is nice. Not like real life, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm really confused here. What am I getting wrong? <laughs> it's not, I wish it told... well, if it told me it would be easy, wouldn't it? This is really strange, though. Uh, the treasure eatery, I guess. It's the surrendering sunflora. That's 100% has to be right. There's two waterfalls. The million volt skyline, you said it was Lavincia. I'm gonna say false for this one. The mark, the marks our po a Pokemon has are present when you first meet That ha I, that's gotta be true, but I'll say it's false to see if that's right. Because that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I'm hoping we passed. <laughs> if there, I don't know what I'm getting wrong here. It's really annoying. <laughs> what do I do? Let's get three right. We got them all right, okay. So I was getting the first one and the last one wrong. Okay, that's really obnoxious, though. So that doesn't make sense. I thought marks, you only get the marks that you, like, get. Um, so we're probably only gonna have time to do one more class today, so let's try and get history done. I think history will be fun. I like the history ones. I like history in real life. So yeah, this this might take a couple of episodes, especially if they take this long. <laughs> yes, whatever we did was a part of history. Now I'm going to tell you an old fairy tale. There's a king who's very much enjoyed collecting treasures, particularly of treasure from other countries. A merchant from the east heard rumors of this king and came to meet him. Laid out four treasures in front of the king. A vessel, a sword, a set of tablets, and a set of beads. Okay. Shard the merchant with gold coins and claimed all four treasure for himself. Uh, probably wooden blanks for writing it. Yes. Or wood and. Yeah, they had writing. It must have been of superb quality. So the king obtained the four treasures and said that a terrible disaster rained down on his castle. Oh no, reducing the to rubble. That's not good. Okay. to that final though. We gotta do it's like three classes each. I think this way is better. In the past we went it like in we did them all like in the at once like we do all the 
the same level. That was not a good idea. I think doing them all in a row is a much easier idea. Like this. It'll just make it easier to remember. This mysterious crater captured the imaginations of many. 200 years ago, a group of explorers claimed it finally reached its depths. The name of that team was the Area Zero Expedition, uh, best and brightest. Skilled battlers, brilliant researchers, talented individuals. It was the name of a man who was the author of a brilliant natural historian, Heath. Uh, he used his third talents to record the events. I was not making eye contact. The name of the team. The expedition. Order. Number Heath. Found in bookstores. The Scarlet Book. Oh, we know what that is. Yeah, Ar uh, Arvin has the book. Even the truth of the expedition made to the bottom of the was calling the question. The book was condemned from shelves. Ooh. There's a copy on one of the bookshelves on the ground floor of the entrance hall. Feel free to have a read. Okay. Yeah, that's the book that Arvin had with the Herb of Mystica, right? Then, yeah. Alright, let's do history number six. <clears throat> also begin so don't be tired. Alrighty, here we go. Whatever you did yesterday, part of history. Yep. Now, last cost time by Eric's expedition 200 years ago. Um, 200 years is not long. Not all in all. Um, how unfortunate that our history lessons must march towards the future. Would it not be more of an adventure to march towards the past? To start from our present study history in reverse. Sure. So you agree with me, do you? I'm afraid I risk the wrath of our dear director if I stray from curriculum. No choice but the flow to carry us forward. Uh, history of the terrestrial phenomenon. The technology behind terror orbs is from Area Zero. Um, others continue to explore. Around 140 years ago, Pokemon cloaked in a mysterious light were discovered. Um, terrestrializing Pokemon. The light faded and... Hmm. Ten years ago, might as well be present day, a certain someone you may have definitely heard of unraveled this mystery. I wasn't making eye contact. Sada? Yeah, okay. So Tsada figured that out. Uh, the Terra Orb technology. Cool. Rumor has it that Director Clavel was one of the researchers on the team. Oh, that's cool. Um, this story is much less exciting now. That someone we all know appears in it. Modern history truly is dull, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I don't know, I feel like I'll do okay in the final, but again, I did bad on the other final, so I don't know. Let's give it a shot. We'll get it eventually if we keep trying all the answers. Oh. I'm surprised it did that poor guy the art one, though. That did not make sense to me. It's all up to interpretation as art. <laughs> Time for our final. Let's go. What is the area within it called? Area Zero. How many years ago was the Academy founded? Uh, 805. A folding fan. Heath. How many years ago? 10 years ago. I think I passed this one. 
Put down the utensils. It's too shallow to be on the task, but the director forced me to include it. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like anything near our history, does she? I think I got... I think I passed for sure. I think I got at least four. I think I got them all. I got them all. Let's go. What did we get? XP candy. Woo. Okay. Um... We want to interact with people or no? We can. I kind of want to complete all the classes before interacting with everybody, but the interactions aren't fun. Um, we're not really going to have time to complete another class. We could do a couple of them just to like get close to finishing it. Oh, what class am I going to be okay at? I know I'm going to be doing good at battle studies, but I'll save that for later. Let's uh, do a class or two of biology. Then we'll complete the final next episode of that one. This might take a bit of time, but I think it's worth doing. We get XP candies, and it's just a fun experience, I think. <clears throat> Hello, I hope everyone's going to learn something new. We had a good on the midterm, yes. Thanks for answering my little question at the end. Sure, keep your responses in mind. Last half of class. Time. To evolve and grow. Evolution. They level up and get stronger. They level up enough. Their appearance changes and their stats increase. That's evolution. Uh, those Pokemon are very strong when they evolve. They make trusty partners in battle. To do this, you need the remember a certain button. Press the B button. B. Yeah. yeah. And also, let the Pokemon hold an Everstone. Requirements for evolution is different. Some may evolve by an item, Firestone, Thunderstone. Uh, specific move for defeat a specific Pokemon in battle. You see, there's a certain move. Oh. Oh, I know. I hope that's on the test, because I know that one. Use Rage Fist 20 times. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Okay, we'll do one more class. We'll do another biology. And then next episode, we will continue the stuff. I think we're doing good progress. So we completed a couple of them. So that's something. There's a lot of them, though, to do. I can't wait... The thing is, it's all going to be worth it when we get to see all the teacher interaction stuff at the end. That's going to be 100% worth it, I think. Hope everyone's going to learn something new. Remember the final question from our midterm. Uh, Club L found out and got yelled at. <laughs> oh. You could tell I was hiding something just by looking at me. He must have noticed all the colors rush, flush right out of my face. Uh. I like to teach you all about colors as they pertain to Pokemon. Some of them have slightly different colorations or patterns based on their gender or individual differences. Um, Pokemon can have a widely different coloration. Uh, same species. Shiny Pokemon. Oh, it's quite rare to cross one. Uh, 4,000. You may have the makings of a professor. Can I go get my shiny one? I can bring it to you. I right, talk about eggs. I've also heard rumors that of a charm that increased the likelihood of finding a shiny Pokemon if you put it in your bag. Um, should be fun if we were true. <laughs> I can bring my uh, shiny Mudbray in for show and tell. <laughs> That'd be funny. If only I brought. What if I brought had it in my party and he said and like we said that, and he like some he had new interactions or something with it. Like, whoa, let's examine it. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, um, I think we'll cut this episode here. Um, we're doing pretty good on the classes, but yeah, it's gonna take a couple of episodes. There's just a lot of classes, and if we do bad on the midterms, it takes even longer. 
for the final. Yeah, we have a lot of classes. I'm hoping to get between two and three done per episode, so this might take a couple episodes, but we're gonna work at it. And we'll get it complete, then we're gonna be dealt with all this stuff, which would be cool. Uh, but anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Scarlet. If you guys enjoyed the episode, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you can click the subscribe button right here. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. See ya!